Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and this is going to be an unboxing video, and I mean, I'm going to do a mini reading at the end, um, but this is mainly to showcase the my new Oracle decks that just came in. I'm so excited. And of course, I checked my P.O. box and I have a couple gifts that we're going to open up together. So I'm going to show you those. Um, but I want, I've been so excited to show you my Oracle decks. And they came in early. Um, so anyone who has purchased any of them so far, I'm not sending them out right away because I'm waiting for... Um, like a bag to come in because I ordered some bags because they usually come in like a velvet bag. My um, Will Willow's Wisdom Oracle comes in a purple velvet bag and my Exposed Oracle comes in a black velvet bag and the prequel to Loving You doesn't come with anything because for some reason I screwed up the settings in the beginning and I can't seem to backtrack and it wanted me to you know, do a blank box or something like this or make my own box. And the image, I was having a hell of a time with it. And it would have cost, I believe it would have upped the price by like 10 to $15 just to add a box in. So I'm like, no, we're doing bags and I'm buying them separately. I measured everything out. So I, I'm going to buy like um, my Oracle sets in bulk batches and just ship them from here so that everyone has, you know, something to put the cards in because that's just, you know, I want you to be able to have a case of some kind. But anyway, so that's my plan right now and I should have them no later than Friday. So that's when I will be shipping out any orders that have been placed. Um, but anyways, so if you'd like to order my new Oracle deck, just let me know. Email me because I got two of them and I'm going to show you. <laughs> they came out beautiful. I'm really happy. So like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around. I really hope that you do stay. All right. And thank you to everyone who has either purchased one or both of these Oracle decks and donated to my channel. Um, join me over on Patreon or purchased a personal reading. And those of you who have purchased personal readings, I am currently working on them today. And so between today and tomorrow, if you are waiting on a reading already, it should be out by then. Um, unless I haven't received all your information yet. And there's one person that needs to send me their information so that I can proceed with that. So if you're waiting, don't worry, it's coming. Um, I wanted to use my new oracles, uh, my new oracle decks in your readings. And now I can, but I wanted to showcase them first. Um, if you join me over on Patreon, between now and May 2nd, um, you could be in the running to win a free copy of my Exposed Oracle, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And you just have to be an active member by May 2nd because that's when I'm going to pick somebody. And that is only for my Patreon. So if you are not a Patreon of mine, um, even if you just join for a month, um, it would technically be two months. It would be if you signed up in April, then you'd have to make another payment in May. So if you sign up by May 1st and just join for that month even, then you could be in the running to win the Exposed Oracle. Um, it's any denomination. You can increase it or decrease it at any time, and you can cancel at any time. But you do have to be an active member in order to win the free oracle. And the prequel to Loving You, if you purchase that oracle, the first 10 people, which I have them up here, the first 10 people will receive a Willow Vines bracelet as a free gift. And then after that, it's just the oracle deck. Um, and the bracelets are also for sale. They are $20. And it's free shipping within the United States. And if you live abroad, we can just discuss shipping costs. I don't think it would be any more than $5. Um, it should be less than that. I'm not really sure. But I do have one that I'm shipping out internationally. So I will have a better idea when I go to the post office tomorrow. Because I'll know what the shipping is. So anyways. Dun dun dun. Which one do I want to show you first? The prequel to loving you. I'll show you that first. This is how it comes, all prepackaged. These are the bigger ones because a normal, 
actually I'm gonna use all my oracles when I showcase this so this one in the purple bag is Willow's Wisdom Oracle and all of these are for sale this is Willow's Wisdom Oracle and then the prequel to Loving You so this is like three and a half inches by I believe it's by five five and a quarter or something so they're on the bigger side and then yeah, so I believe my Willow's Wisdom Oracle is for sale for, this is $36.50, and then the Exposed Oracle is $38.50, because I, I think Willow's Wisdom Oracle has 62 cards, Exposed has 80 cards, and that's $38.50, and then um, the prequel to Loving You has 63 cards total. One of them is... Um, like an information card, how to contact me. So there's technically 62 playing cards. All right. So I already opened mine. So the informational card is, it has my email, um, my photo and my PO box on it. And then of course that's the back it says Willow vibes, intuitive, vi Willow vines, intuitive vibes. And then my name and you know, the name of the deck. I was so excited. I'm not going to show you all the cards, but we're going to use them in a reading. So, I mean, here's one, for example, there's transformation. We have cards like campfire, recognition, and I love this. And I took these photos, like I was at a friend's house and I saw these two moths together and it was just a really cool photo. It's like they found each other, like moths to a flame. And they say things like, you're the one, soul recognition, soul mage, twin flame, strong chemistry, uh, magnetism, or magnetic pull, the red string strung together. So it just gives you the meaning of the card. And it kind of works similarly to um, the Island Time Wellness cards that I've been using. So if you have those, it's very similar. So not every single word on this card is what is what it's going to mean in in a specific reading. It's like whatever you're drawn to, but that's the overall meaning of the cards. So I have it right on them because there is no book included with these. But I do feel like the next, one of the next oracles that I'm working on, I do want to include a book with. There's like two that I want to include a book with, but we have fireworks, music, and there's like a little band-aid. And I think, yeah, this art is just kind of fading away. It's like fading into the music. So with the images, you can get intuitive hits. Like, what, is it, what does it mean to you when you look at this? Because there's rainbows, there's dust particles, which could, you know, represent stars or, you know, dust, snow, um, orbs. You know, whatever you're intuitively picking up. There's also, like, light in their heart space, you know, that can mean something to somebody. So it's not just what I interpret the cards as, like what I made them, how I made them, like the meaning behind it. It's what it means to you as well. Like this says, musical influences, uh, songwriting connected through music, you know, spiritually connected, um, finding meaning in song lyrics, musician or a singer artistic talents, triggered memories, because songs do trigger memories and it can put us in a good mood or a bad mood. Um, feeling upbeat, upcoming concert dates. So you could be going to a concert with this person type thing. We have Forever Diamonds. It's all about timing. Some of my photos are in here as well, like pictures of myself. This is Attitude. It says censored, parental advisory, explicit content, which when it comes to me, yeah, I should slap one of those advisory stickers on this channel. Um, quick to react, pessimistic views, bad attitude, born to be wild, going against the grain, unexpected actions, not thinking things through. And we have floor it, which is like moving too fast or wanting to speed up the process kind of thing. Uh, telepathy, spiritual Wi-Fi, which is what I always say when you're connected spiritually to somebody. 
And then Love Note, which this is actually a love card letter that I received from an ex way back. I took a picture of it, and I just thought that that looked really pretty. Um, marriage. Those were my wedding bands <laughs> from one of my second marriage. Um, open and Vulnerable, which is like showing vulnerability, honesty, weakness, loyalty, expressing your true self, lowering your defenses, open heart chakra, um, open and exposed fear of rejection, transparency. These are actual jellyfish from an aquarium that I took my children to. I just thought that was an epic picture and jellyfish are transparent, but they're deadly, you know? Jellyfish fields from SpongeBob. So there could be a sense of innocence tied to that card as well. And then this is my kiss off card, you know, fuck you. <laughs> fuck those haters, if you know what I'm saying. Lucky shot. And what's funny about this picture is I actually got that bullseye and I suck at darts, but I got the bullseye. It was a lucky shot and that's what popped in my head with it. And I'm like, yep, it really was a lucky shot. Um, it's kind of cool to, to hear the background behind different photos and um, why somebody made something the way that they did, you know, at least I find it interesting. So I kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a backstory off from um, this Oracle deck because I feel like if you know the meaning behind things as well, and you know, like there is a personal aspect to this for me, which it has nothing to do with y'all. Um, it's just kind of cool to note. And it's, it's almost like taking a piece of Willow Vines home with you so that you can intuitively figure out what's going on in your own situation or in other people's situations, depending on if you're a tarot reader or not. Um, we have reconnecting. And it says, like, up here, there's, like, a little quote. I tried to add little odds and ends into the photos and some of them just, just for something a little extra that you can intuitively pull off from. It says, I can't promise to fix all of your problems, but I can promise you won't face them alone. It's like holding hands. And then cheers. Um, I actually drank those shots, at least half of them, in the beer. That was a while ago, but whatever. I just thought it was like a really cool photo. And this one is liquid courage, partying, um, hangover, drinking buddies, celebrations, night out, good news, significant holiday, beer snob. You know, the types of people are like, oh, Bud Light is like drinking fucking piss or whatever. Like they have to have the hoppiest beers ever, um, like a beer connoisseur or a wine connoisseur could go that way too. Social event, bar hopping, overindulging, unreliable information because sometimes drunk information isn't always the most reliable but it can be the most truthful at times. Polaroid, and these are like selfie photos. It, uh, too cool for you, baby it's cold outside, bitch please. And this is like stalking and snooping and you know how they say, take a picture, it lasts longer, you know, shit like that. Um, social media and all the different platforms I put in there with different chat bubbles and it's like you have a lot of unread messages so potentially ignoring somebody um i love you little heart faces um an answer to your question like whatever you're drawn to the most no yes and the numbers can be significant as well depending on the reading and then we have hard working wishes that was taken right in my backyard. In your eyes has wolves in the iris or pupil area and it's two of them so it's like a couple. Like I see you, I see us together, or I see myself in your eyes. Just a daydream. Fantasy, fantasizing, spacing out, lost in thought, conscious um, conscious channeling, which is like channeling during the day and you're well aware that you're, you're purposefully doing it. Um, subconscious manifestations, which is what we're not intentionally manifesting, but we can bring things into our lives because on a subconscious level where we're yearning for it, love isn't always enough. So with just a daydream, it's like, it's not only manifestation, but it's like, is this really 
going to come to fruition? Is this really happening? Or is this just a pipe dream kind of thing? Is it just, just a daydream? Um, then we have Tornado, which is similar to the Tower card because it's creating ca uh, craziness and chaos. Um, roses, it's all about love. Mirror, 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 mirror on the wall. I mean, just looking at this, I didn't write that, but a broken mirror, seven years bad luck. Are you feeling unlucky in a situation kind of thing? But it's also both sides of the coin, you know, um, the negative side of things and the positive side of things. It's also mirroring one another. And then Twin Flames. Union, that was actually me and my ex-husband. I blurred us out, so it's just kind of the silhouette, though. Um, solitary confinement. I'm in jail. One and the same. They look exactly the same, but it's like one's positive and one's negative. Um, it's like the situation, it's, it's that middle ground, the gray area in between yes or no. It's the maybe. And then we have dumpster diving, which is like trash talk, drama, haters, gossip, being dumped, you know, broken up with, um, like thrown away like trash, unfriending people on social media. So maybe someone was unfriended type thing. Um, one way, this train track is actually, it looks like it's a two way street, but it's not. And you could pick that up intuitively because it this is like a one track mind or it's my way or the highway energy with this card but if you look at the photo it looks like it looks like it's fair it looks like it's not one way but it actually is so it's like not things are not always as they seem you know innocence this was my daughter dressed up in her father's fire gear when she was itty bitty Childhood dreams, being naive, playfulness, imaginative, um, immaturity, children involved, birth of a child or idea, inexperience, pregnancy, and childhood trauma. This is like your dreams, your fantasies. You know, when I grow up, I want to be a firefighter type thing, you know. Um, travel, that was a trip to Boston that I took and I reversed it. I just thought it was really cool. We have passion. Freedom! bridge. This is a covered bridge in the state of Maine. Forgotten. This is an actual tombstone that someone for, had forgotten about. It's so old that a tree is growing around it. I just thought it was a beautiful photograph, but it's kind of sad all at the same time. We have locket. It. It's like who's going to be in your locket? Who are you going to hold close to your heart? Attic space. I'm always talking about clearing out the attic, and this is like everything that's on your mind. Um, love yourself. I'd be a fool not to love you. Memories. It's funny how a memory turns into a bad dream. Here comes a feeling you thought you'd forgotten about. Promise. I promise you this. Pinky promises. We got some money, money, money. Service. This is actually a photo that I took at the fire department. One of the fire stations in a town I used to live in. Dream in color, numbers, synchronicities, angel numbers, things like that. Here's your sign. It's got feathers, pennies, keys, stones, um, crystals, a fortune cookie thing that says, one who admires you greatly is hidden before your eyes. You know, little things like that. Our story, addictions, I took that photo route less traveled it's got little it's like it's got the compass you know true north and it says this exit is closed use past exit so it's like stop going forward you know maybe you should go backwards and relearn a lesson or actually learn the lesson this time um like no forward movement because there are unresolved issues go here and it's got arrows pointing everywhere because there's a lot of confusion and it's like go the road less traveled don't do what everybody else does um guidance and i added feathers in there you know because when your angels and your guides are around they can leave a feather for you and that's like leading you in the right direction or letting you know that you're you're going in the right direction Exit stage left, walking away, giving up, closing the door to the past, etc. And then we have remembrance. This is my grandfather's gravesite. 
locked up the key to your heart like who has the key to your heart um, it can also be a closed off heart chakra we have turtle power the turtle headed right to the treasure chest this is a real sea turtle at the aquarium as well call me maybe are they gonna fucking call you are they gonna talk to you warning this is a warning message obsession you know stalker alert psycho people um, first aid in need of help, physical injury, mental health issues, wounded, rip off the band-aid, like let's just do this already, healing, recovery mode, reliable friends. This is my daughter's um, elves. I think it was Kringle and Ginger and Kringle. Um, a dog ate Ginger and they had to patch each other up. Willow vines, this is a willow tree in my backyard, which is beautiful. Grounded and rooted, family ties, legacy, generational wealth, going the distance for love, starting a family, stability, cycles, jumping off the karmic merry-go-round, you know, the one that's on fucking fire, and then at the edge, this is similar, oh, I got one more after that, um, this is similar to the fool energy, this is also a place in Maine, it's like taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, and then enchanted forest. It says fairies gather here and it's got like a hidden all seeing eye up here. Like, are you on the right path? So I absolutely love that. And if you are interested in ordering this, just email me as the prequel to loving you. I love it. I love it. And we're going to use that in this quick little reading that I'm going to do. And then I want to show you the exposed oracle. This is the oracle that is, it's for sale, like I said. This one is $38.50, and the prequel to Loving You is $44.44, plus shipping for all of them. This is the informational card that it comes with, and then this is the back side of my exposed oracle. And these are the regular size ones, but this is like what they want to say to you and what they're thinking. Um, like, I am so confused right now. I don't know how to move this forward. Let's make this a reality. Um, I'm so much better than your ex. Why can't you see that? How could you be so understanding after all that I've done? You know, stuff like that. So they have all the same images on them, just different sayings, and they're all different colors. But I just I absolutely love the back of these. It's just, it's awesome. And I'm just so excited that they all came in. So I'm going to do a mini reading after. I'm going to put that over here. After I... Uh, open up our packages. I have two. I have this one and this one is from um, the marketplace, the same place where I created my oracle deck. So I have a funny feeling it's a, a handmade oracle deck as well because I did say that I would um, showcase anyone's oracle or tarot decks that they've created if they send them my way. So the cards that I have been using lately are messages of love oracle cards by all things intuitive which is this it's these ones um and i i fucking love these ones i i love them so much and i also have been using twin flame oracle and this one's by verunda dave phd that a subscriber gifted to me but messages of love oracle uh pink divine love oracle by jennifer aquarius tarot and what the fuck is the problem fire by fire witch tarot were given to me by the creators so if you're interested in any of the decks that i use you know um and need more information just hit me up i'll give you the information that you need you know just search them on youtube and order away i love those oracle decks so let's see what we have in this amazon package The reading that I do at the end of this read at the end of this um, video is not going to be very long because this is more of a showcase because I'm just so excited. So let's see. All right, a gift 
enjoy your gift from anonymous <clears throat> it's a soul's journey lesson cards a 44 card deck and guidebook by james van pra i believe i'm not 100 percent sure but i think this this is the gift that um one of my one of the willow vibes tribe members who got a personal reading had, had sent me a gift i believe this is from her it says anonymous on here so i'm not 100 percent sure i'll have to cross check it but if you're watching this you know send me an email let me know if this is the one that you sent me because i have a funny feeling that it is thank you so so very much we'll figure out what this is all about i mean they're they're lessons so we'll pull a lesson card for all of us for for the week because we don't need it for the day we need it for the week then we'll see what the next one is come on just open up thank you Got a cute little book. Ugh, I can't do anything, I swear. And I just popped my damn nail off. I just fixed one too before I even hit record. I'm telling you, I can't do anything without messing something up. That's just how I roll. You know what I'm saying? Doo -doo. It'll take me two seconds to do this. Oh, time's up. Take me a little longer. Hold on. I mean, this is the, the good thing to having these stick-on nails or whatever is when that happens, I can fix them just, just as quick <laughs> as they pop off versus having to go to the damn salon and have them fix it. All right, I think we're good. I'll leave this handy just in case because I do that a lot. So I want to see what these are. Oh, wait, no, I don't think this... Is this from her? Like regret, I know that I cannot change the past. No, I think this is from somebody else because I think what she sent me was something completely different. Gratitude, I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. Yeah, this is something completely different, but we will pull at least one of these cards for this little mini reading. Hmm. All right, so let's see what's in here. Dun, 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 dun. All right, how do I open this? All right, open, open, open. Sorry, I'm being really weird and awkward today. I don't know what my problem is. <laughs> All right, so far we have bubble wrap and we have a blank box. See, I'm telling you, this is how they come sometimes if you don't get the the velvet bags because this is what exposed comes in and I ordered gold silk bags for the prequel to loving you so those are gonna be really pretty but I just didn't want the plain box so I was trying to do something different but let's see it just adds too much of an extra cost especially for the bigger um, the bigger deck I think it has to do with the size is a little bit more expensive and um, I did the superior or super shine or something because I wanted them to be really really shiny so this is they're more they're more shiny than than these ones something like that I'm recording Emma really well, make it quick and keep your voice down. Well, why is the internet out? That's is because it's of. It's out from here in New England. Oh, I've. Throughout I've, the whole practically state. Um, New are you gonna go through my stuff again? No, I'm just gonna watch Family Guy. Okay, that's fine, but don't go through my stuff can you again. Download Hulu. No, you can. I'll have to do it when I'm done. I can't do it right now. Why don't know your. Well, you're going to have to wait. I'll be done in a little bit. Emma? Thank you. Oh, you have Hulu. Never mind. Okay. I love you. Okay. Um, I've seen somebody use this before. It's the Hermit Tarot. So, any Virgos want the Hermit Tarot? But it's got their numbers, like 0, I'm ready, 
You are wrong. Oh, who the hell was it that uses this all the time? I love her too. White Rose Tarot, something like that. Wait, number seven. Do you even care? I have no idea who created this. The Hermit Tarot, maybe? The Hermit? The Ace of Cups. No, that's just what they're what they are. So yeah, I don't even know. I have no clue. So if you sent me the Hermit Tarot um, and you want me to showcase it, please send me your information. Email me um, and let me know that it was you and you know what the details are. And I will definitely share this with everyone. Um, this is going to be new to me. Just uh, I just want you all the time. Number eight. That's cool. Why is there... Oh, I have it flipped around wrong. I have it all screwed up. I think. Anyways. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So let's do a little mini reading. Um, we'll do overall energy with this deck, which is the Soul's Journey. So let's get an overall energy card with this. Well, thank you so much to anyone who sent me these beautiful gifts, the soul's journey. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Anonymous. And thank you for the hermit tarot. Like I said, I've, I dream about you a lot too much. I've seen this before. And I actually, I thought that the, the uh, tarot reader that I was watching, I thought she made them, but maybe not. Gratitude. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. I read this already along with regret. So be grateful for the, the small things. And I am very grateful for this Oracle deck and for everything that has been sent my way. For the fact that I'm creative enough to be able to make my own. And that um, some of you even show interest in any of it and that you guys have just been so damn generous. Like I'm definitely want to show you my gratitude, which is why I'm doing the exposed giveaway for my Patreons. Anyone who joins me, any denomination, you could be in the running for my exposed Oracle and I will do other giveaways for YouTube as well. I've been making a list of um, different giveaways that I want to do and I'm going to give away a bracelet as well. Um, so let's see, we have gratitude, just be grateful for the small things. I kind of feel like either you or your love interest are like, especially this, this week, that's what you're doing. You're just thankful for, um, where you are in life, for the lessons that you've learned, for, you know, all the things that have happened to you up until this point, good, bad, or indifferent, because you wouldn't be who you are today without those experiences. And I, I just, I feel like, some of you had a recent wake-up call. I don't know why I wanted to say that. So let's see. Um, I'm just going to get one of the prequel to loving you between you and your person. Let's see what's going on. Do I want to do... I'm either going to do two or three of these. Let's see. For the viewer, please. Sorry if that was so loud. Sometimes I hit the table with the cards and I don't even realize that how loud it is until I go to rewatch a video and then I'm like, ooh, that's really loud, especially if you're listening with um, headphones. At least, you know, and even though these are really big, um, they're easy to shuffle. Like, it, it's not too, too difficult. So we have Lucky Shot, which came out, and it says, good luck, winning, blessings, which, oh, and then we have Twin Flame, but this goes along with gratitude, because winning, blessings, once in a lifetime opportunity, too blessed to be stressed, lucky streak, lucky charm, windfall of money, the answer is, oh, hell yes, oh, hell yes. And then twin flames. So I feel like 
Some of you are going to be showing major gratitude this week because your twin flame is actually coming towards you. And it's like a shot in the dark. I feel like this is my lucky day. This is my lucky week. I'm like, I can't believe you're, you're friggin' here. Yeah, because then we have surprises with roses. Let's see. I'll read you what twin flame says. Heaven sent your other half, two bodies, one soul. Um, soul bond, duality, the yin to your yang, runner chaser dynamic, always together, even one apart, karmic lessons in past lives. And I was just talking about being grateful for even the bad things that happened to us, you know, karmic lessons. Um, I feel like there have been a lot of lessons learned on your side and their side. And it's almost like with lucky shot, it's your lucky day that they're coming towards you. But I feel so lucky to know you, to be in your life. I feel so much gratitude towards you because you're giving me a chance or another chance. You haven't given up on me. Someone's going to take a shot um, and see where this goes. And I kind of feel like there's a surprise headed your way with roses. Gifts of love, surprises, flowers, romantic getaway, sexy time. Ooh, brown chicken, brown cow. Handwritten letters, secret admirer, making love, not war, sweet kisses, intimacy, romantic gesture, Valentine's Day, you're my one and only. I kind of feel like some of you might be getting flowers, but there's a romantic gesture here. I feel like someone's going to take, um, take a shot in the dark towards you and they're going to come out on top. It's their lucky day, your lucky day. There's, some, there's a soul recognition here. You're dealing with your twin flame, that's for sure. Um, so let's see, I'm going to pull one Pink Divine Love Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot for each one. So what is this lucky shot? Ugh, that's too much. That's a lot, but snail's pace, slow progress, reevaluate. Yeah, this person has been taking fucking forever and I feel like luck is on their side. It's almost like Thank you so much for giving me a shot, even though I have taken my sweet ass time. I shouldn't have taken this long. Someone wants to apologize for making you wait, because I also saw winter, which is stagnancy. So twin flame. I feel like I want to pick up the pace. I don't want to move as slowly as I have been. And it's funny because with Twin Flame, we have reflection, evaluate, which reevaluate and evaluate. So someone is evaluating the situation. I feel like your your person is evaluating the situation and you're reevaluating. It's funny, like you both are looking at each other now is what I wanna feel. Uh is what I wanna feel. Is this what I want to feel? Is this how I really feel? Do you really feel that way about me? Something like that. That might be what you're evaluating. Um, reflect on actions and thoughts. But this person reflects, is a reflection of you. And what's funny is, I don't think it's here anymore because I shuffled. Mirror, mirror showed up with um, twin flame. And that's just like reflections. So I feel like you two are mirroring each other. Especially with the fact that you're both reflecting and um, evaluating the situation, the dynamic between the two of you. I almost feel like some of you are about ready to give up right when this person comes in out of nowhere. And it's like they're taking a shot in the dark towards you because they know that you're sick of waiting. And some of them think you're not even waiting anymore. So it's like, oh, am I going to hit, you know, am I going to hit the bullseye or am I going to miss? I feel like you'll never know if you don't take that shot, if you don't take that chance, and this person is realizing that. So it's like, better late than never, is what I'm feeling. It's coming out of nowhere. Shadows, hidden, unknown, mysterious with the roses. For some of you, this person wants to keep um, this romantic connection, this love connection um, on the DL for the time being, I feel like they're your secret admirer is kind of what I'm getting. Like you've wanted this person to come forward for a long time and they've been secretly watching you basically. All right. So one of the twin flame 
oracle cards for lucky shot and snail's pace. Yep. I feel like what's unknown now is going to be known this week. Someone is researching the twin flame journey as well. We have fifth dimension. You guys do speak. I'm telling you, there's fucking lessons tied to the situation because I've seen lessons multiple times now and that's part of the twin flame journey as well. Um, that's just on the bottom of the deck, but <laughs> there's a fresh start here with um, reflection in twin flames. This person is learning about the twin flame journey and I feel like they're connecting the dots like, wow, that sounds like me and you kind of thing. I feel like you've known that this is your twin or a very strong soul connection um, and you're very spiritual anyways, but this person is learning um, spirituality and they're just starting to understand what soulmates and all that, or what a spiritual connection even is. And it's like, wow, I feel that way. And, you know, this happens and that happens. And I get all these signs and synchronicities. And, you know, I never believed in this stuff before, but they're starting to believe because all, like, all of it can't be a big coincidence. So that's what they're evaluating. And I feel like you're reevaluating the situation because I feel like you are about ready to kind of leave them behind and then boom, they come in. You definitely talk in the dream space. We have material world, money, career, status, third dimension, make your mark. So I feel like what's going on here, and then we have soulmate at the bottom, twin flame and soulmate crossroads. You can't make this shit up. But I feel like this person is moving slow because you two have been They've been dreaming about you. You've been dreaming about them. But it's like you guys are already together spiritually in in the fifth dimension. That's why you guys always feel like you're together even when there's um, great distance between the two of you. I feel like through this reevaluation and the fact that this person is, you know, taking a shot in the dark towards you, there's a fresh start on the table for the two of you to actually move forward together. I feel like I want to keep this on the DL at the moment, but secretly they're watching you and I feel like they're planning a surprise here. Like there's a secret surprise coming in and it does have to do with the material realm. This person could have been saving their money, working on their stability, but I feel like they're buying you a present and you don't even know. You're, you're unaware that this is even happening. So let's see what the exposed oracle has to say. Like, what are they, what are they thinking about you? Or what do they want to tell you? We'll get three cards from this for that person, please. Yeah, I feel like there's like a reawakening. You're being reawakened to this connection and they're just waking up to it, period. This person had a lot of things to resolve. I need to be alone right now, which is why they were only talking to you in the fifth dimension and taking their sweet ass time. Um, I feel like that's what's coming to a, a change though. I feel stuck right now and don't know what to do because they're figuring out that you're very, you're a very important person in their life. And it's like, I don't know what to do. I don't want to lose you. Um, can we please start over? I feel like this person doesn't know doesn't know how to approach you, which is why they're they're just taking a shot in the dark like, you know, better late than never. All right. That's too much. I only want one more, please. What does this person want to say or what are they thinking? They're brand new cards, so they're a little slippery. Does that want to come out? I know you can handle things on your own, but I want to protect you. And that's showing up over roses and material world. So I kind of feel like this person wants to be your saving grace. They want, they're like a bodyguard type energy. Like I want to protect you from harm's way. I don't want you to ever feel alone or feel scared again. And I want to, 
I want to protect you from the from the harsh, cruel world and help you financially even because that's falling over money. I want to make beautiful memories with you. I hate myself for making you cry. So there is some regret here, which is one of the cards that I read in this deck. And they're grateful that you're even giving them another chance. So I feel like um, this week, expect a do-over. Expect... Um, some communication, slow, snail's pace, slow communication, somebody slowly moving towards you because they're taking another look at this situation like, did I fuck this up for good? So they're kind of testing the waters is what I'm feeling. Man, I turned the heat up and now it's hotter than hell in here. Anything else, spirit? to see what the hermit tarot has to say. What do you want? Number four. I kind of feel like you want security, stability, a relationship. What do you want out of a relationship? You make me want to do bad things. Number 15. This is the devil energy. And then light. I feel like this person is coming into the light because they're figuring things out. And you might be asking, like, what do you want? Do you want a relationship? Do you want this? Do you just want to be friends? Like, what do you want? And I feel like they want to be more than just fuck friends. They want to be, you know, this isn't just strictly sexual, but they have a lot of passion towards you. They, I feel like this person really wants to um, get in your pants. I'm just going to put it that way. But I feel like... They're on the lighter side of this devil energy. So I kind of feel like I want to come out of the shadows. I want to come out of the dark darkness into the light. And I don't want to hide, hide my feelings anymore. I don't want to keep my feelings, my feelings, um, for you a secret, but I want to show you some freaky, freaky shit. I'm just saying, this person wants to get down and dirty with your ass. Oh, hell yeah, they do. The answer is yes, if you have a question. They're really afraid to talk to you right now. I feel like they're not afraid to talk to you right now, though. I feel like they're, they were afraid. I feel like they're coming out of that fear. Because the devil energy can also be fear-based. And, and with light, it's like coming out of, you know, being fearful, uh, any negative thoughts, you know, feeling stuck, feeling chained or tied to karmic situations or outdated situations. I feel like they're removing these roadblocks basically. Um, and they're gonna take a shot in the dark and head your way. I feel like it's their lucky day because you haven't let go of them yet. I mean, cause this is really beautiful. This is a second chance or somebody coming forward for the first time. But I feel like it's a, somebody coming back around, even if you never dated them. Because they were spending a lot of time alone because they felt stuck. But they're getting out of that um, devil energy now. And it's like, even though you're independent and you're strong and you can do shit on your own, I want to walk through life with you. I want to be there for you. You know, I am so grateful that you came into my life and that you're even giving me another chance. So I feel like this person's communication at the very least is coming in and it's going to get things moving in a more positive direction romantically speaking. But that's what I have for you. Hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully it helps. Um, I'm going to get to some of my personal readings here in a few. I just wanted to do the unboxing video and show you all the, the cards that I got. Um, and of course, you know, showcase my Oracle decks. Woo, 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 woo. I'm so excited. Um, so if you're interested in purchasing any of these, just email me. I love them. I hope you love them just as much as I do. And it's wicked hot in here. I gotta turn the heat down. And that's probably what you're gonna be saying when this person comes in because it's, I'm thinking of, what is it? It's hot in here, so take off all your clothes. It's getting hot in here. Yeah, somebody wants to do you. I'm just saying, it's getting hot in here because you're so sexy. <sighs> like, 
Anyways, love you long time. Talk to you soon. Peace.